Hello and welcome back. In this video, what I'm going to be showing you is the exporting options as well as some of the custom VBA for automating exporting. First thing I want to show you is the exporting into other formats. So as I mentioned before, you can save this workbook as a regular Excel document, send it to whoever you want, and then they can view it just like you see right here. If they have Excel Draw, then they can also rotate and pan and change the dimensions and update it and things like that. But for a general purpose, if you just want to share this with somebody in your office, you can save it as an Excel document. So what happens whenever you want to send this over to a CAD program or a C NC machine or CMM machine or something like that, you will need to export it into a CAD format. So how you do that is you go right up here to CAD DXF. And whenever you select that, it'll come up with a window right here and it'll ask you what you would like to save this as. So again, we saved this once before, but I'm going to go ahead and save it as test four. And then you can also select what format you'd like to save it as. A DXF is a CAD style format that it's basically a drawing format. And the DXF files that Excel Draw makes are the most basic DFX files possible. We do not include a whole lot of footers or headers or uh, formatting or anything like that. It's just straight bare bones DXF files. The good thing about that is it is pretty much accessible by any basic CAD viewer and almost all machinery. The bad thing about that is we don't get the level of details like uh, swatches and things like that and hatch patterns, but for basics, it's really good. Next is a text document, which will basically convert everything that you see right here into a text CSV slash DXF format that you can then view in another program. A PDF, which will create a PDF image of Excel draw that you see right there. Basically, it uses the same PDF settings that Excel uses as default. HTML saves it into an HTML format that can then be viewed by people with browsers. At regular Excel, you can export as a JPEG or a PNG, which is the image that you see there. You can just export that image directly wherever you want it. And then finally, we have a standard CSV, which is, again, very similar to a text document, but it's formatted in a way that has all your data right there for you. So, as I said, I'm going to show you just a basic DXF. Go ahead and hit export. We have our export folder, we have our name, and then our format. Hit export, and it's asking me if I'd like to open it. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, so then I can show you what it looks like whenever we do export it into a CAD viewer. So the CAD viewer is right here. I'm going to rotate and spin this around so you can see it. So yeah, that is our drawing. Okay, pretty neat. The other options that we have here is a straight image, so an option for you to export it as an image. Then we also have other, which basically is the same thing that I showed you in the previous window. Now, something that happened in version three a lot, and sometimes in version four, was that some of the objects that were being graphed did not have proper data points. So if you run into an issue that your graph has a lot of missing points in it and it's not graphing properly, try to do the auto correct. It should fix it for you. And if it doesn't, email our support, let us know, but the auto correct, that's what it's for. It is there to fix missing data points. Now, the final thing that I want to look at in today's video is the export options and the auto export. We had several customers request the ability to export their drawings at a given time so they wouldn't have to go through the process every time of clicking the CAD DXF, bringing over the window, selecting what folder and file and things like that. So we had uh, customers that wanted a quick way to just click a button and have it exported. So we added this option in, which is the export settings and the auto export. 
If you open up the export settings, you can see that it is asking you for a export location, an export file name, and a DXF, so or whatever format you want to pick. So this is going to be set up exactly the same way as exporting normally. It's just now this is going to automatically set where it needs to export to, set a default file name, and then it will just keep renaming the file as an extra extension onto it whenever it goes and tries to find that file. So for instance, if I go up here and I go to browse and I'm going to select that folder that we have everything in. I'm going to put this as export file test and then I'm going to save it, save it as a DXF. And then it's going to ask me do I want to automatically overwrite if I want to automatically open, if I want to export upon close or export upon generate. So with this on, you can either export it automatically every time you close out of Excel, you can export it every time you click the generate graph button, or you can export it every time that you run this macro right here. You will need to have Excel Draw version 5 installed on the machine in order to use this, but what you can do is whenever you want to run this function, all you have to do is select this, copy it and paste it into a macro. So I'm going to have this run. I'm first I'm going to check it every time that it auto generates and I'm going to have it be export file test and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I also am copying this. So whenever I do select and have this exported, I need to have selected auto export. That way my settings are being pulled from and it's telling Excel Draw, yes, I want to be able to automatically export my drawings. So I currently had it set up to automatically export whenever I generated the graph. So if I click generate graph, you can see I now have my export file test and I can go ahead and do that again. And there we have another one. So every time I generate the graph, it's also exporting it for me. And like I said, I can have this set up to run this whenever I close out of Excel. I can also have it set up to do this whenever I run a macro. If you would like to use the VBA export, so you can automate when you would like the Excel draw add-in to export for you, you can go into the export settings and you will need to have Excel draw installed on the machine. But if you do, you can run this little line of code in any macro that you have, and it will automatically take all of these settings that we have right here and export it wherever you want it to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of great tech videos and releases. Thank you all very much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.